I'm retired and I was trying to do something useful and something that might be fun at the same time. So I thought maybe some people would like to refresh or learn French. Elsa's Beginning French class focuses on foundational conversation, a pastime students have enjoyed for a number of reasons. One medical benefit has been highlighted in a recent study by the University of Edinburgh. It turns out learning a second language later in life might not only be possible, but it might also help slow down the aging process, regardless of your current age. So what we think that when we learn a second language, we uh, form a new connection, new synapses, the connection between nerve cells is called synapses, and it helps uh, build up neuronal networks it helps uh, facilitate the transmission of electricity and, and the uh, information between nerve cells and perhaps there is some indication that it may stimulate the uh, production of growth, neuronal growth factor that help create this neuronal, neuronal layered network. Dr. Al Molino says that learning a second language exercises our brains in a way that may keep the information highways operating at full capacity for longer, even as the recent study says, potentially staving off dementia. It does help uh, building up the cognitive reserve, and the cognitive reserve is the ability of the brain to be resilient to an attack or degeneration, the wear and tear that uh, comes with aging. It's stimulating, I think, mentally stimulating, yes. While Dr. Al Maslino says it's unclear if learning a second language can affect someone's existing dementia, the mental exercises could still offer a helpful focus. If you don't use it, you lose it. So the more we train the brain and we challenge the brain, the better this connection between different centers in the brain is going to work.